No class. Hi, teacher. Hello. How are you? Um, I'm pretty good today. Thank you so much for asking. How about you? So, so. <laughs> so, so. Okay. No, don't worry. Yes. Yeah. But mm -hmm. It's a great day. It's a great day. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm really happy to hear that. What Thank day you. is it today? Today is Wednesday, right? Yes. It's yes, Wednesday. Wednesday. So, yes, this is class number, let me check. Veamos que clase vamos ya, chicos. Class number seven. This is class number seven. Right, so let's wait for your classmates. We are going to give them just one minute. Esperemos a sus compañeros un minuto más, right? Mm -hmm. Remember that we are about to finish section number three. Section number three. So let me ask you, did you complete section one and two already or do you want me to help you with some exercises? ¿Ya concluyeron la sección uno y dos? ¿O todavía tenemos algunos ejercicios pendientes? <risa> Recordemos que es mejor que vayamos siempre terminando sección, terminando ejercicio, para que no se nos vayan acumulando y que al final eh, se me haya olvidado lo que cubrimos en clase o se me acumulen todos los ejercicios. Right. So, Remember, right, go to the platform, check the exercises. Today we are going to check some exercises as well. Very good job. Teacher. Yes. Cuando dice la expresión so, ¿qué significa? Entonces. Ah, entonces. So. Okay. Uh -huh. No sé si recuerdan la primer clase que tuvimos, también expresábamos o usábamos so. I love Mexico. It's a beautiful place. So is El Salvador. ¿Se acuerdan que ocupábamos también eso? Ya, ahí me acuerdo. Entonces depende del contexto a veces. Cambia también eh, el significado. Pero en esta expresión es como, como para dar continuidad a la siguiente idea. Uh -huh. So, les digo yo, entonces. O sea, a veces les digo, do you have questions? Dicen no. So. Let's continue. Entonces, continuemos. Muy, eh, muy usada esa expresión. Creo que la uso bastante, pero es para dar continuidad. Bien. I already see Lore. I see Ruth. Yanira. Alberto is in the class. Hi, Josué. Hi, teacher. Glenda, Jorge, and Gustavo, who is just joining Hola, the class teacher. right now. Hi, how are you today? How is it going? How are you? Fine. Fine, but Fine. tired. Fine, but tired. I can imagine, you know, in my case, it's the same. It has been a very busy morning here in the office. Very busy morning, you know. But whenever I come and I meet with you guys, I forget about my job, you know. That's why I really like to come here to teach because this is like uh, something that I really enjoy. And after that, I need to continue, you know, with my work. But I really enjoy being with here with you guys. Es como una pausa que hago. Me desprendo un ratito de mi trabajo. Vengo con ustedes. Luego, I need to continue. Creo que es lo mismo con ustedes, ¿verdad? Pausamos esa hora y luego, you need to continue yes. working, right? But don't you worry. Let's see. We went to holiday. Yeah, right? When is the next holiday? When is it? Let me check. Next holiday. En junio Next tenemos Friday. cuántos holidays, right? Is it on Friday? Next Friday. Next mm. Friday. You know what happened to me? 
as I work with a company from the United mm -hmm. States, I don't have the same holidays oh, as in El Salvador, you know? Oh, yeah, June right? 17. June 17. A mí me pasa, como no trabajo con una empresa de El Salvador, sino que de United States, no tengo los mismos holidays. So, yes, It's yo tengo 19, que trabajar. 19. I need to work, yeah. United States United is 19. The 19, uh, you see? Saturday. But it's on Sunday, so. Teacher, yes. do you have two jobs? I do. Actually, I do. Um, yes. I guess I have told you about my job, right? No, no les he contado. What do teacher do? Aparte de be a teacher, what do I do? No les he contado. Right, no. It was not with no you. No teacher. Um... I work uh, with a company who makes or creates um, online courses. Hacemos cursos en línea. No sé si han visto la plataforma Creana. Creana? No? Son no. cursos en línea. ¿sabes? No. Les dejo de tarea que vean que es Creana. Right. So you can see what the teacher does on a daily basis. ¿Cómo se llama? Let me type it. Creana. Creana. Mm. Creana. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Son cursos de cualquier Yo Rihanna, cosa. Rihanna, no, come on, <laughs> trabaja con Rihanna la teacher, no. It's not like that, no, come on. So you can go and check, and there are so many courses, right? But at the same time, I really enjoy being here, you know, this is what I love to do, teaching. You don't have our holidays. I do, actually, I do, but... Um, They give me like the 15 or 20 days in a row. Whenever I decide oh, okay. to have my holidays, yes. There's not like a specific week or day during the year. So if I want to take the 15 days at the beginning of the year, I can take them. If I want to have- So like, sorry. Yeah, so that's the way I work, but don't you worry. Let's see, what do we have for today? What class is this one? Do you remember? This is class number. First class number, number six. No, it's not six. <gasps> seven. Yes, it is. <laughs> This is class number seven already. So remember that we are about to finish section number three. How much is it? We have been practicing how to ask for prices and how to give prices as well. So we're going to continue doing similar activities, but in this case, we need to express preferences. Look. Ya sabemos cómo preguntar y dar precios, right? Pero ahora, siempre en el mismo hilo de preguntar y comprar, expresemos Preferences. ¿Qué le gusta? Preferences. And also, we are going to make comparisons. Right? Vamos a comparar. Express preferences and make comparisons with adjectives. So, this is class number seven. Let's go ahead and start right now. So, here we go. Um, I was asking you at the beginning, no sé si saben, eh, mañana clase 4, semana 2. Ejercicios necesitan estar completos hasta el 3.12, right? Let me show you. So, I was asking you, les preguntaba, eh, ya completamos ejercicios de plataforma, alguno que nos haya dado algún problema, si se fijan, solo tenemos 3, 3, no. No, right? I guess I'll go. Veamos los ejercicios. Let me see. The last okay. exercise is difficult in the two. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you see 3.4, we have a picture about some people who is Buying, buying, in this case, this man is buying a backpack, he's getting a new backpack and new clothes, right? So whenever we are going to ask for prices, remember that we need to use the expression, 
how much. ¿Cuánto? La expresión que usamos es how much. ¿Cuánto cuesta? Okay? How much is it? How much are these? Those are two expressions that we are going to use. So, take a look at the first exercise. Veamos el primer ejercicio. Lo vamos a tomar como repaso esto. Right. Number one. This is a conversation. Excuse me. How much? And then we have jeans. Jeans is in plural. So, do I need to say is or are? Mm -hmm. Tengo la palabra jeans en plural. Are. Mm -hmm. Remember, estamos utilizando el verb to be. So, how much is? No. How much are? Right. Are. Very good job. So, Siempre debo identificar. Veamos, what options do I have? How much are these? Are those? Tengo dos opciones con plural. Take a look at this lady. ¿Será que está cerca de los jeans o is she far? ¿Cerca o lejos? Look. Are those, are these, are lejos? Uh -huh. Está so, lejos. She is far. Entonces, cuando Sardis. está lejos, utilizamos. Those. Those, exacto. No se está refiriendo a los que tiene a la par. Next, the ones. I guess she likes the other one. So, how much are, very are good those? Though. Are those. Those. Miren, those. And then we have a question. Which? Which? Which, which ones? one or which one? Ones, because it's plural, jeans. Mm -hmm. Siempre lleva un hilo la conversación, miren. Jeans, mm -hmm. está preguntando siempre de jeans, no mm -hmm. uno en específico. Mm -hmm. That's why I need to use ones, because it's Plural. So, which ones Eight. do you mean these? No. The light blue one or ones. Seguimos hablando de uno o de varios jeans. Ones. Mm -hmm. Ones. 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 Plural. Because we continue talking about jeans in plural. Mm, no, the light blue one. Oh, look at this expression. We continue talking about jeans. Jeans, reemplacemos jeans. Tell me. Can, can we see the photo? For, for, for yeah, please. Oh. No, si podemos ver la, la imagen. The picture, yes. The Don't picture, worry. exacto. Aquí está. Ok. Eh, the pants, eh, la pregunta es, why the exercise one uh -huh. is those? Uh -huh. Porque ahí los está tocando. Este no serían uh, this. Mm, vaya, pero si se fijan, a la mitad de la conversación le pregunta incluso, which ones? Le dice cuáles. The light blue. Let's see, ¿dónde están los light blue? Light blue. Uh -huh. ¿Ahí los tienen en la, en la mano o no? Ah, do you mean these ones? Ah, sí, bueno, bueno. Mm, not really. Yo creo que ya está apuntando a estos. Yes. So... No le quedan mm. cerca, ajá. Ok, es están preguntando aquellos. Ah. Ustedes que ven, yo, mi perspectiva es que está incluso apuntando a esos, right? Ok. Los celestes. Yeah. Uh -huh. The blue, the light blue one. Ajá, es que yo pensaba que eran esos como moraditos, tal vez. Ajá, uh -huh. but no, she's talking about the light blue ones. And I guess, yes, this is purple. Uh -huh. So, that's why. So, let's continue. Ok, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. So 
Letter B. Let's continue with letter B. O. They, it, or we. 59.95. O. Look, we it's, cannot say it are. Oh. And we cannot say we are because we, we, are. Are, we are not genes. We are talking about they. Those oh, genes. they are. Oh, they are 59.95. 59 okay, and that's it. Now let's go and take a look at the other picture. Look at this man. He's asking for this backpack, the orange backpack, right? Is this backpack near or far? ¿Le queda lejos o cerca? What do you think? Lejos porque está de este lado del mostrador. Yeah, right. He's from Lejos. this side. So, yes, he's far. So, what are we going to use? Is una sola backpack. This or that? This or that? This. this. Vamos a ver si usamos this or that. I like that backpack over there. How much? Is right? How much is, is it? Is, is it? Which one? The red one or ones? One. 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 Because it's only one backpack. It's 27 and 50. But the green one, one. is only. 22 25, 20, right? 22 dollars and 25 cents. That's it, 22.25. So you see, this is like um, the way that you need to look at the exercises. These are not that difficult at all. And then we have another picture. And if you see, this is what we are going to talk about today. Materials, materials in English. That's why I said that we are going to identify preferences. Vamos a hablar de los materiales, right? And in this case about clothes, clothes or things that we wear, cosas que usamos, okay? Aunque hay muchos materiales, so here we go. Let's watch this video. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation and will be introduced to comparison with adjectives by expressing preferences. Okay. Which one do you prefer? Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Hmm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's $499. Would you like to try it on? Uh, no. That's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. Notice how the girls are talking about their preferences. In the next class, we will study how to express preferences and comparisons. Okay, let's listen again to this conversation. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation and will be introduced to comparison with adjectives by expressing preferences. Okay, here we Which go. Which one do you prefer? Look, first of all, let's take a look at the picture and let me know where are these girls? We have two girls and this man who is helping. Where are they right now? What is the name of this place? Huh? department store okay interesting this is a department store department store okay department store what can we get in a department store what type of products can we get in a department store jackets mm -hmm. what clothes. else clothes Ac Access. Access. How Access. Accessories. 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 Ah, accessories. Yes. Okay. Accessories. What else? Shoes. Shoes, of course. Uh huh. 
South department store. These girls are Shares. in a department store. Shirts, jeans, uh, jackets, and any other type Blows. of clothes. Clothes, right, excellent. Blouses, right. So who is this man in the picture? Who is this man? How do we call this man? The seller. Hmm? Seller or? Look. Clerk. Clerk. So what is the meaning of clerk? Or what is the difference between a seller and a clerk? ¿Qué creen que es la diferencia? Seller and clerk. Or are they synonyms? This is extra vocabulary. What is a clerk? He's an employee. Okay, he's an employee from this store. And what is his role? Mm -hmm. Okay. No confundamos entonces, seller puede ser lo mismo, otra forma de llamarle. So clerk es una traducción de empleado, así de simple, es un empleado. Y su rol es ayudar en este caso, empleado. So it's similar, you can also say seller or clerk, that's it. So look, these jackets are really nice. Look, what is the comment about the jackets? Are the jackets old? Are the jackets ugly? Or how are the jackets? Yes? <clears throat> the jackets are really nice. Really so nice. remember, whenever we want to express an opinion, we can easily use adjectives. Para expresar opiniones, podemos usar adjectives. So in this case, these jackets are expensive are really nice these jackets are ugly these jackets are beautiful adjectives but in this case and she is expressing that the jackets are really nice and then we have this question which one which one do you prefer why are we using which one and not which ones Porque uso one and not once. Because it's a choice. Exactly. Because I have one and two choices only. So which one do you prefer? I like the woo one. So look at this expression or this word. This is a material. Este es un material. ¿Qué tipo de material será este en Spanish? Wood. Lana. Uh -huh. Lana, right. Lana. So, do you know any other material in English? ¿Qué otro tipo de material conocen? De ropa, of course. Wood. Lana. Leather. Leather. Silk. Cotton. Ajá. Nylon. Silk. Yes. Polyester, que sería, ¿cómo es? ¿Cómo yes. es? Polyester. Jersey. Ajá, uh -huh. yes, why not? Esas ya vienen en inglés esas palabras, right? Exactly. So, silk, wool, leather, cotton, and any other, right? So, those are materials in English. So, I like the wool one better. I like the wool one better, right? The wool one why it looks warmer well i like the leather one it's more stylish than the wool one so look at the adjectives that we are using to express opinion we are saying that the jackets are really nice that the jacket looks warmer that the jacket is stylish so adjectives to express opinion mm, there's no price tag there's no price tag what is this what is a tag 
What is the meaning of tag in English? There is no etiqueta. price tag. No tiene etiqueta. No tiene etiqueta. En este caso, ¿qué tipo de etiqueta? Price. El price precio, tag. Price. 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 Mm -hmm. price. We can also eh, see. La ropa siempre trae una tag en la parte de atrás. ¿Se han fijado? Que contiene información de lavado. Right? The washing instructions. So, that is also a tag. So, we can have price tag in English, or we can also have like washing instructions, instructions, tag, just to give you some examples, right? Tags, etiquetas, and we can also have different tags, right? So excuse me, how much is this jacket? How much is it class? How much is this jacket? ¿Cuánto cuesta? Mm -hmm. How much is it? Can you tell me the price? Wow. So what is your opinion about this jacket? Is it cheap or expensive? Expensive. It's so expensive. Would you really like to buy this jacket? Mm -hmm. Would you like to buy this jacket? ¿Le gustaría comprar this jacket? Yes or no? No, thank no. you. No. No. Exactly. So, same expression. Miren, usamos la misma. Mm, no, that's okay. Bad things anyway, right? So, would you like to try it to try it on? Uh, no, thing. But that's but thanks anyway. So, si se fijan, una forma bien polite. De decir, está muy cara. No, that's okay, but thanks anyway. So, that is the conversation about asking for prices and giving opinion about, uh, in this case, things that we are going to get, right? So, for example, if I ask you, do you have your cell phone there? Do you have your cell phone? Your cell phone? Yes. Best what is teacher. your opinion? You are, what is your opinion about your cell phone? Mm -hmm. What is your opinion about your cell phone? ¿Cómo es su eh. teléfono? ¿Qué opinión tiene de su teléfono? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, Ivania. Mm. What can you tell me about your cell phone? Give me at least three comments about your cell phone. Miren hmm? acá, las opiniones que daban really nice, expensive, stylish. So using adjectives. ¿Qué adjetivos usaríamos para describir el cell phone? Let me see. Gaby. Let me see your cell phone and tell me three adjectives for your cell phone. Yes, let me see your cell phone. Um, it's slowly. Okay. Yes, and the camera uh, is not a good quality. Okay, yeah. it's not from a good quality. Is your My cell eye. phone expensive or cheap? Um, it's cheap. Ah, okay. Yes. So how about you, uh, Janira, do you have your cell phone with you? Uh, my cell phone is... Mm -hmm. Let me see your cell phone. It's not high good quality. It's not from a good quality? Uh, it's black. And okay. it's, uh, it's... Um, <laughs> that's it Carlos do you have your cell phone what can you tell me about your cell phone my cell phone is it's very nice okay it's very nice very fast very fast okay. expensive it's very expensive expensive you say <laughs> how much is it uh, <laughs> the last technology 
the model is Galaxy Twenty One. Okay. The event, uh, Excuse me. It's the same cell phone. Okay. Then it's fixed, Don't worry, Ricardo. Okay, I don't it's know why. Like, yeah. But you have two. This cell phone. Ah. Okay. This cell phone is in the company. It's not mine. Ah, uh, that's why. Do you have? I'm not sure. But do we need to see your. Uh -huh. So you see, I don't know why, because in my case, I have two cell phones as well. Tengo dos cell phones the same. I have this one. That is like the most expensive one, but I prefer to use this one, you know. I really love this one uh, instead of this one, because this is like bigger, right? iPhone. Yeah, so I don't really I... like it. I don't really use it, you know. I iPhone. So, no, it's, it's a it's a Huawei. Huawei, right? So yes. So you see, opinions about objects, right? How much is it? Opinions, usando adjetivos. So, ya vamos a ir a la práctica. Let's continue with this one. So let's listen to the pronunciation about. Look. In this case, materials. That is the next video that we have here. Expressing preferences. Here we go. Okay, look. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to comprehend and use comparative adjectives. Hi everyone, as I told you last class, we will talk about how to express preferences in English as well as to compare. Let's see. Preferences. Comparisons with adjectives. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. Which one do you like more? I like the leather one more. That one is cheaper than the wool one. This one is nicer than the wool one. The leather jacket is prettier than the wool one. It looks bigger than the wool one. It's more stylish than the wool one. Spelling. Cheap. Cheaper. Nice. Nicer. Pretty. Prettier. Big. Bigger. To express preferences in English, we may say, I prefer. I like. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. When we want to compare, we use the adjective in its comparative form. We use adjective plus er plus than. Small, smaller than. This dress is smaller than the other one. I recommend for you to study the adjectives in English in its comparative form, so you're able to compare anything you want. I also want you to work with this cheap, old, and new. These are adjectives. Find out its comparative form and make comparative sentences using these three adjectives. Write them down in a discussion box. Okay, but before we go and make sentences, we need to find out about um, this other exercise. Okay, just give me a second. Vamos a ver los materiales. Materials in English. So, we can have some ideas about the products or objects that we can find with those type of materials, right? And if we have the time today and tomorrow, we are going to compare, make comparisons. So, here we go. Aquí están los materiales. Let me show you. Okay, just give me a second. Okay, I'm trying to open my book. Okay. Okay, there we go. I already have it. 
sell materials in English. And as you mentioned before, you already know some of the materials in English. So these are some other examples. Look. What are these things made of? And we have some examples from number one to number eight. What do we have in picture number two? What is that in picture number two? How do we call this object or this item? Item, what is this? Gold. It's gold. Okay, but what is this? Not the material, the object. A How do we call this? Bracelet. Oh, a bracelet. bracelet. How about this one in number three? What is this object? Silver. Mm -hmm. a ring. Ring. Oh, it's a ring. ring. It's a ring. Very good. A ring. Look at this one. This picture. What is this? Shirt. 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 And look at number five. What do we have in number five? Belt. belt. It's a belt. Okay. How about number six? Earrings. 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 Number seven. Flip flops. 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 So I used to have one of those flip flops. So look at the materials that we have. Materials that we have. As you mentioned before, cotton, gold, leather, plastic, rubber, silk, silver, and the last one. It was in the video. Como era la última? Estaba en el video. Yes. Wool. Wool. So what are these things made of? Let me ask you, Glenda, number two, what is this item made of? The bracelet. What is the material for this bracelet? Um, gold. A gold huh? bracelet. So we can say that this is a gold okay. bracelet. Very good job. Ivania, how about picture number three? I think it's a, a silver ring. Okay, silver. And what is the meaning of silver? What is silver? Um, plateado. Hmm? Oh, plata. Exactly. Plata. So, no es... Yes. Depende, el material como nombre es, yes, plata, plata, right, silver, silver. So, yes, this is a silver ring. And the bracelet is gold, oro y plata. Aquí están las expresiones, silver and gold. How about number four? Let me see. Aquí tengo acá, Josué. Number four, what is the material for this t-shirt? Or shirt. Mm, is wool. Okay. Mm, what do you think, class? Or do you have a different opinion? Cotton. Ah, okay. Cotton. ¿Qué es, qué es cotton? Algodón. Es algodón. Entonces, ¿qué es wool? Lana. Esto es lana. Lana. Uh -huh. lana. Casi, creo que acá, sí, tenemos un ejemplo de lana. Yes, we do. So, this is the one. Ruth, how about number five? What is the material for this one? Number five. ¿De qué será ese cincho? El belt. Cotton, or cotton, gold, leather. Oh, leather. Gray. 
So, what is the meaning of leather class? What is that? ¿Qué es leather? Cuero. Cuero. Cuero, muy bien, exactly. Do you have any other example of products made of leather? ¿Qué otros productos Shoes. están hechos de leather? Shoes. Shoes. Like okay. wallets. 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 Jacket. Jacket. Well, right? So leather. Number six. Let me ask Ed Nilsson, please. Number six. Yes. What is the material? Oh. Earrings. Six. Eh, no, creo Any que es idea? Okay. So let's ask a girl, Rita, do you know what about number six? What are these earrings made of? ¿De qué están hechos? Made plastic. of. Ah, plastic. Yes. Yeah, de qué están made of. Plastic, I guess, right? Yes, they are made from plastic. Podría ser rubber oh. también. Rubber. Ah, ok. So, what is the difference? Si se fijan, tenemos dos eh, materiales parecidos. Rubber en plastic. Rubber mm, en plástico. Uh -huh. Y tenemos okay. las opciones. Entonces, ¿cuál es plástico y cuál es rubber? ¿Qué es rubber? Caucho. Uh -huh. goma. goma. Es como goma. Goma. Entonces. Sería rubber earrings. I don't think so. No, plastic. And plastic. Flip -flop. Plastic. Plastic. Exactly. Flip -flop. So, rubber. the earrings plastic. are made of plastic and the flip-flops are made of rubber. Exactly. Rubber. So, that is the difference. Plastic and rubber. For example, what other materials, tal vez que no sean ropa, materiales, están hechos de rubber? ¿Qué otros tipos han visto? Boots. Boots, exactly. The ones for the rain, right? Boots, they are made of rubber. ¿Qué más? Tire. Okay. How about plastic objects? Give me some examples about plastic. Yes. ¿Qué más han visto de plástico? Oh, we have so many items. Muchas cosas hechas de plástico. Plastic. Models. Okay. Models. Yes. Bootless. <laughs> okay. So many, right? And the last one. How about the last one? What is the material for this one? Yes, socks. What is this made of? Samuel, do you know number eight? What is the material for this one? Yeah. El número ocho. Sería... Silver? No, 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 no. The gold, 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 no sé cómo se pronuncia el de gold, W-O-L. Ah, ok, bien, wool, de lana. lana. De lana. Yes, right? Yes, it makes sense. Claro, that's ok. So, silk, gold, silver, cotton, leather, plastic, rubber, and wool. Right, so, a different type of material, right? Ocho tipo diferente de material. So what are we going to do right now? I need you to work in groups or pairs and you are going to give me so many examples as you can. Tenemos ocho materiales. Traten de poner sus ejemplos. Que otras cosas están hechas con the same material, right? Quiero que trabajemos en grupo. Ahorita solo estamos enfocándonos en materials. 
And these are like the most common materials that we have or that we wear. So let me make the groups right now. Go and discuss with your classmates. Remember the expression, made of, hechos de, made of. So let me have you work in groups of four. And I'm going to send you the picture right now. Here we go. ¿Tendrías eh, siempre los mismos productos para qué otro tipo de materiales puede ser? Yeah. Dos cada uno, digo yo. Ok. Déjame ver si no Entonces. Vaya, vale, ok. Ok. Empezamos. Sí. Empezamos con la corbata, por un ejemplo. Puede ser. La corbata puede ser eh, de algodón, de seda, ¿verdad? De cotton, de poliéster. Cotton, silk. Okay. No, no, no. La idea es, no. tenemos ocho materiales, right? No en sí el producto. Quiero saber qué otros ejemplos tienen de cada material. Por ejemplo, gold, cotton, leather, plastic, rubber. Agréguenle a cada categoría ejemplos de cosas que están hechas de eso, ¿ok? Ah, no okay. Es así, estos, estos, miren, look, these ones. Ok. That's it. Gracias. That's okay. no, you're welcome. Entonces. Ok. Carlos, ¿cómo se dice? me acuerdo cómo se dice. Uy, hoy no me puedo salir. How do you say? Do you need help? Teacher. Yes. We don't uh, Espérame que, que no puedo, o sea, no puedo quitar esto. Yes, you can, you can do it now. You pueden compartir. What happened, Samuel? <laughs> no sé, no puedo quitar esto. Um, let me see. I don't remember. Where is it? Ok, let me do something. Voy a ver si la puedo deshabilitar. Ok, there we go. Ahí está. Uh -huh. okay. no, no podíamos compartir, teacher. La... Ok. But now you can. Now you can share. Ahora, eh, teacher, en... oh. Oh. teacher, entonces nosotros vamos a agregar otros productos, ¿verdad? Ok, de acuerdo a los ocho materiales que tenemos, these ones, agreguen mm -hmm. ejemplos de productos. Exacto. That is what you're going to do. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Sí. Go, no, no me dejaba el comisionado mejor. No, y después dijo ella pues, que ya podían, pues a mí no me dejaba. Vaya, ya está ahí. Oh. A letter, letter. A letter. Eh, ese es este. Shoes. 
a letter show is. Ay, perdón, me equivoco con una. Pues, ah, ah el, el, lo, de, lo de cuero, va. Ajá. Y es. Cartera. Y uh, wallet. A letter show. Ah, sí, es verdad. Solo una, ¿verdad? Ah. Solo una por cada. Cada chica. But if you have yes. some other examples, you can add some others, right? Yes, Josué, wallet. Now wallet también. Make of leather. Yes. Okay. Uh, the... A jacket. Uh, uh, silver, uh, silver fork. Tenedores de oro. Uno que se perdió por aquí. Ah, bueno. <laughs> a silver, a silver forks. Um, um, a uh, uh, gold chain uh, cadena a uh, gold chains no lo está poniendo en el chat a gold chain este gold 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 chain Una cadena de oro. No, cadena de... no eh, W-O-O-L. Ese es este, como algodón. Coron. No, Coron Ruth, es esa es lana. Ah, lana. Ajá, lana. Ajá. Ah, wool. Wool. Ah. Ah. Yes. Um, a, a wall scarf. A wall scarf is. Um, un patito de goma. Uber ducks. Toys, entonces. Mm, puede ser toys. toys. Uh -huh. Ok. Eh, ¿Y el otro, cuál es el último material? Se me había olvidado. Wool. Wool, ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Lana. Wool, uh, of made wool is. Jacket, pants. Mm -hmm. uh, uh -huh. yo, vi unos pantalones de, yo vi unos pantalones de lana para el frío. De... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, oh, gloves también, uh, guantes. Gloves, ah, gloves. Patito, patito de hule. Es Robert Duck. Robert, Robert Duck. Duck. Ajá. <risa> ¿Qué es eso? Yeah. Eh, el de lana es gloves, guantes. Yani, ¿cuáles dijo usted? Ah, sí. Entonces, gold serían charms y what? Charms son los dijes de oro. Sí. Y un reloj, what? Guacho. Cotton, underwear, ropa interior y t-shirt. El bundle de... Jorgito.
Okay. We are going to compare. Comparemos respuestas. Here we go. Let's compare. Qué bárbara, niña Ruth. Me dejó. <laughs> Great, so do you have your examples? I really want to listen to your examples, you know? So let's go and find out. Veamos. Materials in English, material. Aquí estamos, these are the ones. Okay, the first one. Can you give me your examples about the first material that we have here? Please, this one. Cut on. Give me your example. Yes. A cotton fission. Okay. What else? Just anybody can tell me. Cualquiera de esos ejemplos. A scarf. And a scarf. Okay. That's it. Only two examples. I don't know. Shirt, Cheers. T-shirt. Exactly. We have, you know, this is the most common one. It's the most common one. Shirt underpart. Okay, as well, exactly. That's it. Very good job. And let me see. Gold. Gold. And then Nilsson, give me your examples with gold. Dingote. Okay. <laughs> bigote. Bigote. Bigote no de oro. Really? I see, like this. Ingot. Ingot. ¿Cómo se dice? <laughs> Un lingote. Ah, el material, el producto. Bueno, lingote. Okay. No, swash. I don't know. To be honest, I, I don't remember. I don't know. A ring. Let me check. A watch. So, watch. Exactly. We can have watch. Watch. What else? A gold chain. Chain. A chain. Uh -huh. Chain. Okay. Very good. ¿Qué más? A tooth. Yes, ingot. Está bien. A tooth. Can you spell that, please? T O O T H. Ah, it's Really? Yeah, you know, there are many singers right now, singers, who they really like to have their feet, gold feet, right? Me gusta tener dientes de oro. Sí, chicos, se miren medallas. Ah, right, the medals as well. Very good job. Medals. medals. Mm -hmm. That's it. So, next one. Really nice examples. Leather, leather. What are your examples, um, Alberto? Leather. Jacket. Jacket, of course. That's, that's it? Only jackets? Mm. Leather shirt. Car seats. Woman's handbag. Oh, okay, okay. Boots. Okay. Shoes. Boot shoes as well. Yes, we can have leather. But jackets Car are the most common one. Oh, okay. Wallet. Hat. Well. Hats. Hats as well. How about plastic? This is so common. Plastic. Give me your examples. Carlos, plastic. The plastic that's here. Okay. That's it. Chair. Boltless. Mm -hmm. How do you say uh, la cosa para comer? Um, we have we have bowls, we have plates, we Bones. have you know a lot of things. Casi todo está hecho de plástico. If you see, we can have cups, we can have um, chairs as well. Any okay. type of product. Maybe the plastic Tables. Mm -hmm. Tables, chairs, exactly. So many things of plastic. The bottles of water as well. They are made of plastic. So this is a very common 
material, you know? Maybe and, it's the more common. Yeah, right? So how about rubber? Rubber. Rubber. Uh huh? Uh, the stopper, this is stopper word. Stopper. Rubber, right? Stopper. Yes, we, you know, saben que se se le llama también es. A veces las marcas se convierten en palabras también. Stopper. Rubber duck. Yes. Okay. Interesting. And let me see. Silk. What are the products made of silk? Silk. Dresses, blouses, shirts. Shirts, but those are very expensive, you know, products. Very expensive mm -hmm. products. Scarves. Que, Scarves. Como uh -huh, made of silk. No. How about silver? Silver. What are the products made of silver? Earrings. Earrings. Mm -hmm. Butler. O como cubiertos, no sé. Ah, ok. Made of silver, wow, interesting, yes. What else? Coins. Mm -hmm. Coins. Coins as well. Belt. A belt. Oh, interesting as well. And mm -hmm. the last one, wool. Wool. The lana, wool. Um, scarf. Scarf. Okay. Pants, sweater, pants, sweaters, um, yes, gloves, 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 gloves. very good, bed gloves. clothes, okay, exactly, bed gloves, gloves as well. So interesting, you see, we can identify any other product and try, please. This is your homework. Try to identify the objects that you have around. Las cosas que tienen alrededor. ¿De qué material son? Practice, you know? So you can remember about the vocabulary. ¿De qué están hechos? What are they made of? Right? So questions about the vocabulary. Preguntas del vocabulario. You know? Miss, mm, how do you say lata? Lata. ¿De qué material es ese? Primero mm, identifiquemos. Lata. lata. Aluminio. No, no es lata. Eso es. Aluminio. Aluminio. Right. So, depende del material, así va a ser. Yes. El aluminio, as well. Right. Aluminium. So, that is a Kenman aluminium. Yes. Okay. So, any other question? Teacher, y nylon, es, así se dice también en inglés, nylon. Ese sería un tipo de hilo, ajá. Solo que es como una categoría, yes. Son ya palabras que vienen en inglés. Por ejemplo, zipper. Esa palabra ya viene en inglés. Zipper. Right. No a mí me quedó una duda. Disculpe. El rubber. O sea, quedamos en que era goma. Pero no puede ser como caucho entonces. Descartado. Mm. Rubber. Sí, podría ser también. Es como hule. ¿verdad? Es como hule, pero es, eh, es como duro. Hule. Yeah, right. No lo comparamos con el plástico. Okay. Plástico son las botellas, sillas y todo eso, pero rubber es como un poco más grueso. Yes, okay. right. That's it. Gracias. So, question. Bueno, y el Nielsen que anda haciendo allá atrás, ya lo vi. Ajá. Right. Madre, habla, ah, yes, mire, se va a quitar el tiempo bien. Ah, Estoy logrando, lo vi por donde Samuel y ahora lo veo donde Lare. Ajá, el Nielsen. Buscando un té, anda. <ríe> Coffee Pidiendo time. Copia. <ríe> Come on, Elenilson. Practicando su inglés, anda. No, eso es. Okay. So don't worry, class. Vamos a ver entonces mañana. Tomorrow, class number eight from week number two. Okay. So I really hope you to have a great afternoon. Bye bye, class. Bye. Yes. See you, miss. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye. Bye, bye, teacher. Bye. See you, teacher. See you. Bye.